Zopi App Shopify Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about one of the most used and incredible apps on Shopify called Zopi. Now, what does Zopi actually do? Let me tell you. So, Zopi is an automation app that does AliExpress dropshipping and fulfillment. So, it's basically automated dropshipping, all right? And it helps you incredibly with your e-commerce ventures because it automates proper dropship products and does fulfillment on your orders totally in the background by itself on AliExpress, which is pretty incredible, right? So to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your Shopify and go to the app section over here. You're going to search up Zopi and now you are going to click over here. So as you can see, Zopi, it's totally free and it is the proper AliExpress dropshipping central that you're going to be needing because trust me, you don't get a better offer than this. You know, this works incredibly. So I'm going to click on install. Okay. And once we click on install, we're simply going to wait for things to load in. And here we have alioorders.io. Okay. It opens it up. So once this link opens up, you have two choices. You can either go ahead and download this straight away, or you can wait for the onboarding and create an account with Zopi. Okay. Now, the best part about Zopi, obviously, other than it being free, is that it does fulfillment for you automatedly. Okay. So if you don't know what an automation is, basically, you don't have to carry out steps for yourself. You're simply going to give the steps to an automated AI bot, and that bot is going to do it for you. So it installs Zopi dropshipping. We're going to click on install over here. And once we click on install over here, it's going to load things up and it's going to bring us to the proper callback section. Now in the callback section, well, the fun part about working with Zopi is that it will give you a proper lookout when you're working with different types of products of different niches on Shopify. Okay. So what we are going to be doing is we're simply going to wait for Zopi's application to load up. Now, Zopi, as I stated before, will also give you a, you know, brief idea of how proper fulfillment is done because order fulfillment is something that people choose to not do a lot. It's not something they're familiar with. So you don't necessarily have to do that when it comes to Zopi. Now, we have five basic plans, the free plan, starter, basic, advanced, and premium. So obviously I'm going to go with the free plan for myself, but you can go with the upper plans if you have the budget for it. Now, once we've gone through with that, we're going to come here, choose the language, and here we are. So we have settings and billing, account, billing, notification, and much more. So once you have gone with, into the billing section, you're simply going to agree with all of this and you are going to make sure to go with this plan all right now this is going to be your basic you know startup now if you want to get into the actual product section you're going to come to find product all right now in find product what we're going to do is we're going to scour through the millions and millions of niches that it gives us to find products in so we have stuffed toys home items electronics etc so let's say i want this a pet dog brush so to get this product for yourself, you're going to click on add to import list. And it basically adds this right in your product center over here. So once it's added, you're going to come over here. Now, as you can see, we have an imported product in this section. And what you can do is you're going to open this up. And once you open this up, you can edit the product as you please. So you can change its title. You can change its descriptions, change the pricing, images, variants, whatever you want. It all depends on you. You can give the product a different type, give the product tags. And once you're done with all of this, you're going to click on push to store. So you can also push it as an unpublished product, but I'm going to go with the published product and we're going to click on push to store. Now what this does is it sends it into the product section in your Shopify store and it's pretty simple you know it's pretty straightforward and this is mainly all the procedures that there are when it comes with Zopi so once the product is successfully pushed to your store you're gonna go over to the product section over here and over here you are gonna see that Zopi will appear right in front of you so look at that pretty incredible so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure to open Zopi up again now the fun part about Zopi is that it's not necessary that you need to import one product at a time. You can import as many as you want. That obviously depends on you. And you can f 
find all the trending products here in find product section because it goes ahead and gives you proper trendy products according to Google Trends' very own graph charts. And look at this. And they go for a good price as well when it comes to drop shipping, including the shipping cost and everything. And it tells you the estimated profit that you're going to make, which is pretty cool. So these are the things you're going to want to keep track of. Now, let's say someone orders the product from your Shopify store. How will you fulfill it? So basically, when someone places an order, it's going to appear here in the order center. And whenever it appears here in the order center, you can keep an automation to fulfill the order automatically according to the area and ship. So this is where you're going to fulfill everything. Pretty incredible, right? Then we're going to move on to the tracking center. In the tracking center, you can basically track your orders. Okay, each and every order can be tracked where the courier is going, what time will they reach, etc. Then we have integrations. Now, one of the best thing about Zopi is that you can integrate this with other features. So we have features like AI writing, where you can apply it ready to sell an SEO content for your product just in one click. Then you have product insight, where you can unlock extensive product insight and additional data set in product details. You have market tracking, where you can auto suggest better suppliers, competitors price, for your very own products, cashback setting, product copy, and a whole lot more. So let's say I want to go ahead and get AI writing. Now, obviously, these are for a certain price because AI writing is not a small thing because it truly gives you the proper keywords that you need for your SEO and marketing and, you know, the proper keywords that you need to actually get on the top of the proper, you know, wheel wagon of Google SEO. Now, once we have gotten an idea of this, we're also going to go to settings and billings. This is a place that you're going to be visiting often. So first of all, in the settings section, you can choose your source account. So you can source stuff from CJ Dropshipping or AliExpress, and you can connect your account if you have any, because you might have set your AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping account according to your niche. You might get very good products over there. So connect your accounts and you're going to get those products in your Shopify. So you don't have to change up your platform each time you want to do dropshipping, right? Then we also have the centers like notification, you know, when do the notifications appear in your store? So it could be in app, email, you can even keep a web push if you want to. Then we have the product center. So basically over here, you can set up automation. So you can set up auto pricing over here. You can set selling price in a specific event and you can update the advanced trackings as well. Okay. And then finally we have order. So in order, what you can do is you can set up automations for your shipping method, your bulk order fulfillment and track order settings. It all depends on how you choose to apply it. So let's say I want the fastest method for shipping to be provided. I can keep a basic note to the supplier. You can add contact names that can be, you know, worked as a template. Then we have bulk order fulfillment. So skip if shipping cost is higher than let's say um, this much or skip if product cost is higher than some specific price. So these are automations. Okay. This is how you're going to be setting up automated AI order fulfillment and a whole lot more. So yeah, this is basically the main idea of Zopi app drop shipping. So if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you incredible people in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.